Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for April 2019. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. What messages do we have for Capricorn in love for April 2019? We're going to do a Celtic cross, guys. Okay, cards face down. Capricorn. Energy around you guys here. <clears throat> What's challenging you for the month? What's underlying? The recent past here. Best possible outcome there. What's coming in for you guys? Oh, wow. Okay. That was not at all good. Let's see. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot going on. Maybe some of you feel a little um, scrambled here. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see how you're viewing the situation currently. What's influencing you guys for the month? Your hopes or fears. And the overall outcome here. I'm feeling a lot of anxious energy um, going on right now. Okay. A lot of anxious energy. Um, I'm feeling that there's something that you guys are definitely wanting to heal from. Okay. Uh, I'm getting that a lot of you guys are feeling very sorrowful around something here. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on around you guys here. The Five of Cups, look at that. Mm -hmm. Having some regrets regarding a situation. Feeling like there's there's nothing that can, you know, this situation can't be fixed. Feeling like all is lost. Okay, I'm feeling a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow. Let's see what's challenging you guys here. Hmm. To free yourself from this, this mental anguish. Okay. Knowing that you can, you know, get out of this situation, it just takes some, you know, strategic planning, I feel. Okay. Um, Gemini energy there, Scorpio here. Let's see how you're currently viewing this situation. The Seven of Swords, maybe you guys feel like, you know, there's somebody that has really done something that, um, that you feel like, you know, was very hurtful, that they were being very selfish, okay? They're deciding to, you know, basically leave you guys in a lurch, you know? Hmm. Snuck out on you. Or either this is how you're feeling um, about you know what what has transpired you know on your part with someone it's got you feeling very regretful and sorrowful around something somebody's definitely feeling a lot of regret in this situation let's see what was going on in the recent past um page of swords <laughs> I, i'm feeling like this is more of the energy of speaking without actually thinking about things okay um, I'm feeling a very immature angry energy I'm feeling um, kind of snide like energy though you know acting really coy and saying some things that I feel like you know you guys or someone else meant to be hurtful here Saying some things that maybe you didn't necessarily um, mean or that you wish you probably did not say here. Again, this definitely could be, you know, go vice versa. This could be someone else that has done this with you guys. Okay. Now, the underlying issue here is the Four of Pentacles. I 
I feel like there is definitely an energy of of hoarding okay and um, I'm getting like hoarding time um, hoarding money okay I'm also getting that you know maybe finances are a little strained right now and it may be due because due to the fact that somebody you know left the situation and didn't give a crap about you know leaving you guys in a lurch okay I'm definitely getting the sense that um, there's a lot of regret here in the situation um, for maybe you know saying some things that um, you didn't mean or the other person didn't mean something like that and feeling very very regretful around it knowing at the time that what um, what you were saying or what they were saying you know wasn't necessarily you know a great decision or a great thing to say but nevertheless doing it nevertheless doing it and feeling like you know at the time you know it made you feel good or it made them feel good however this energy is going for you guys only you know your situations here okay but now there's definitely someone in this in this situation that feels like you know they have to fend for themselves here from here on out now the best possible outcome here is a four of wands that you will definitely gain your stability um, your personal stability your happiness okay get back on, get back on your feet and um, most definitely with the four of wands here there's definitely a sense here that um, you guys want you just want to be stable. You you don't want to be back and forth with anything. Okay, you're trying to acquire um, a personal happiness. You want to be financially stable. You want your home to be stable. You want to be happy. You don't want you know this energy of feeling very angry or or you know feeling the need to argue with someone every other day in this situation. Now what's coming in for you guys here is a nine of swords. It's a lot of thinking going on. A lot of regret is what I'm feeling in this situation. Okay. A lot of regret. And really not a lot of hurt. Not really seeing the truth in this situation. Feeling like all is lost. There's no way to get out of this. I'm feeling a lot of um, a lot of sorrow, regret. Uh, there, I feel like there's somebody here, whether it's you or someone else, that actually really needs um, some help, maybe some counseling in a situation. Definitely. You have the seven, eight, nine of swords here. It's like the confusion is like culminating. A lot of ruminating thoughts. But I definitely see you guys progressing and getting past this energy though because, you know, hmm. I see you putting something to bed here. I see you basically giving up on a situation, on a love situation here. Okay. And what's influencing the situation definitely is death. Giving up on this situation. There's definitely a need for some change. There's a need to shed some old behavior. transform some energy here I don't see any cups here I don't see any other than the five of cups feeling very regretful um, you know about losing someone okay your hopes or fears it's a three of Pentacles that you guys will not come back together 
that you won't be able to work on this thing, that you won't be able to, you know, have this stable home life, this stable relationship here. You won't be able to bring your resources together so you guys can grow. And the overall outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm definitely getting that there is a um, divide between you and someone else. Um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like either there are some of you who are actually you know working something out with someone here after you know discussing some issues kind of putting you know this energy of overthinking to bed and really talking things out changing putting an end to you know all of this this negative energy of feeling trapped and actually being able to discuss some things and talk about um, talk about some issues you guys have and work together to compromise in a situation. You know, growing your relationship into a very stable uh, connection. Okay. One that can endure. But for others of you, you guys are actually putting an end to a relationship here. One where um, there are probably children involved. One where, you know, you guys were once very stable, but um, the foundation is, is now shaken. Okay. And um, you're hoping that, you know, you guys can work this out. But um, there is definitely an ending for some of you coming here with death and the Ten of Pentacles because you guys know the tens are endings. Okay, so for some of you, there is an ending coming in a committed relationship that you guys have had for a while. Okay, maybe four or five years for some of you or longer. Okay, so we have Virgo, Aries, um, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius is here. Maybe Libra. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.